I got no drip in my pocket. Must have forgot it, or maybe I already lost it. Good morning, y'all. So we just made an extremely last minute decision to go to the Formula One Grand Prix race car event in Miami. And when I say last minute, I mean like literally we made the decision like five minutes ago. So, um, yeah, Bubba, I know. So I had to like round up a plan for the kids and now I have to find a last minute outfit. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I don't even know what do you wear to a function like that. So I gotta go figure that out and we don't have much time to figure that out either. So y'all give me some hope. Look at this, look at my hair. <laughs> A hot mess, but it's a good opportunity to go and it's like a huge event. We're about to get ready to do that. I gotta find me a little outfit. I gotta get the kids ready because I'm gonna drop them off at my mom's house. And supposedly the parking there is insane. So um, we're gonna drop the kids to my mom's house and we're just gonna Uber from my mom's to the stadium. It's at the Hard Rock Stadium and enjoy the experience because it seems like it's a whole experience. So we're finally on the way to the stadium. I just dropped the kids out to my mom's house. And so we're in the Uber heading to the stadium. I'm finally happy I got my makeup on. I had to do my makeup in the car because when I left the house I was not feeling myself at all. Once I did my face I feel a little better and I had to make some of my curl just give a little pop because it looked a hot mess up here but I really wanted to go to the F1 race because it was a good opportunity and like we randomly stumbled upon this situation so we're happy to like you know be able to go. I threw on this oh that's a little that was a little too much skin. I threw on this dress and some sneakers and that's really it. It's so simple. It was so hard Hard for me to find something to wear that postpartum struggle if you're postpartum you know it's like there's a lot of changes that happen that you try to adjust to with your wardrobe and it's a struggle that knows gonna be hot outside so I had to think about that too and I had like two seconds to get ready so between all that this is what I ended up with it should be fine so I'm gonna be recording on my phone I hope it comes out good enough my camera's gonna be too big and bulky to be like carrying around and I'm not trying to have people look at me I don't have a purse to put it in y'all will be getting this iPhone footage next time y'all see me I will be at the stadium okay I need Shades or no shades? So no shades or shades? What do y'all think? What do you think? You? I don't know. Want? It depends how you feel. I have no preference.
at lunch right now. First of all, this is much bigger experience than I thought it was going to be. I didn't know what we were signing up for. Thank you. Grab a little drink. Right now we're in the middle of the stadium. We're just having our lunch. I just had some tuna, getting some lamb to eat. And then after this, we're gonna walk around and see the whole little experience. There's a bunch of different spots to set up, like there's Ferrari. We're with Aston Martin. The green is Aston Martin. You can see the ladies wearing their little Aston Martin outfits. Everything we're doing is gonna be like affiliated with the Aston Martin team. We're like in the middle section where you see some of the drivers like, walking through and stuff. There's a bunch of press out here. I thought we were gonna come out here and stand and watch. I were at like a football game or something, but no, this is a whole experience that we're on. So after this, we're gonna be going to the garage, like the actual driver's garages and see like the cars. I don't really know because I don't know much about Grand Prix. Y'all are gonna find out with me what we're gonna do there, but that's what we're gonna do after we leave this area. This is exclusive, y'all. They do like the pit stop set and change the tires and all that stuff but we're gonna go somewhere else so we can have a different view it's a little hot in there first of all like we're in the back you know because all the workers are in front of us so we're gonna go somewhere different
told y'all that was a 15 minute walk. No, no, definitely 30 minutes of a walk to get up out that place. It is literally like a whole maze in there. So I got my little water so I can be hydrated. We're getting about it. Y'all, that event was, first off, here's what I really didn't know. So we had like a whole VIP experience. I did not know we were about to be up in there with celebrities. Excuse me. I would have prepped totally differently if I knew that this was going to be like that kind of event, you know? Obviously like the event is like something that was very casual, but like I didn't know I was gonna be, you know, over in this in the celeb section. We saw Serena Williams, Lil Cool J, Shakira, some uh, Latino singer, rapper, I can't remember his name right now. It's not Bad Bunny, but it's um, J Calvin. J Calvin, uh, there were a lot of people there. Was not expecting that either. It was extremely last minute, as I said in the beginning of the video. It was like, oh, kid drama. But yeah, so for starters, like I said, it was a very last minute thing. This was not planned whatsoever. It was just like a last minute opportunity to go to the, to the F1, Formula One Grand Prix race thing. We had very little time to get ready. And I'm under the impression like, okay, cool. We're gonna go to like in the stands and watch the race and that's gonna be that. But no, this was like a whole experience. Like we had like a little, like a tour guide lady and we went like behind the scenes. We saw the garage where they get the car ready and where you see like all the workers and the pit where you see them do like, they change everything out in the car in like two seconds. It's crazy because they literally transformed like the whole football stadium. I've been there a lot, but I feel like I was in a brand new place. It was very, very different. It's like they spend a lot of money transforming it. It was a, it was a good time. Like I'm glad we went and did it the way we did it. I felt like that made made it like a much cooler experience or whatever. Um, I would wanna do it again. Oh, before I even talk about doing it again, that walking, oh my God. It took so long. Like it, there's so many, there's so many areas and it's like, it is like a whole like map to how to get around the place. It took us like 30 minutes to get out of the arena area. It's really, really long and really loud. I would wanna do it again. We wanna go to like, they have different sections that are like, this is like a party vibe. Here's like a pool party. Here is, if you literally, like if you're a gung-ho fan and you wanna sit in the stands and watch the race, then you can sit over here in the stands. Like, there's different sections. I would wanna go to like one of the sections and experience it that way. But yeah, it was a cool event. Quick little vlog. Vlog? Vlog. Quick little vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, a little behind the scenes action. I learned a lot from it. I honestly went in knowing nothing about nothing going to this thing. But it was good. It was real cool. It was real, real, real cool. Next time, though, I'm going to be a little better prepared. But yeah, catch y'all next vlog.